I can't. Have you sorted your hair out now? So I'm overdue for a haircut. Evening. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to our regular Sunday hangout. Is that on? I didn't actually check if the mic is working. It wasn't working the other day. Bear with. Uh, yes, it's working. Good. Hello. <laughs> we've done that before where we've sat there talking to ourselves and everybody else is like, oh, this is a silent movie. We are so professional. We've done so many of these. We know what we're doing, right? Anyway, mm. welcome. Uh, I'm Mrs. Anxious and this is Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you like what I did there? Yep. <laughs> it Welcome. did give me a giggle when I came and sat down earlier. Uh, if you are new to the channel, um, welcome. We do this every week uh, on a Sunday, eight o'clock. We go live and hang out with you, bunch of crazy people, and share stuff if we have it to share, which we do. We do have stuff. We have some very cool things for once. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We really do. Yeah. Um, one of which isn't even mine. Uh, oh. We'll get onto this in a minute. Hi, Chelsea. Um, so, yeah, um, we did a boot sale today, but we were selling and we got very wet. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I looked at the forecast this morning. It was sunshine all day. It was like there were oh, no, it no rain clouds, nothing. Um, but no, no, the heavens opened on us three times. We got very grumpy. We did very well, actually. To be fair, we sold an awful lot of stuff and cleared a load of stuff out, a load of um, stock from the business that just needed moving on, and a load of our personal stock. We're, we're in the middle of... Personal stock. Personal, personal stock. things. Because <laughs> we're in the middle of having a bit of a purge. We are starting to seriously think about maybe moving house, so we're in that mindset of maybe reducing our stuff. Um, but we need to say some quick hellos and thank yous. What was your... Right, I have um, a request for a shout out to Lola Miller. So hello, Lola Miller. And um, we, we just wanted to say good luck with your back to school kit sales because yes. Lola's been putting together um, like bespoke back to school kits and, and selling them during the summer. It's a good idea. It's a really good idea. Yeah, so best of luck with that. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching, Lola. If you are watching, say hi in the chat. Let's say a few quick hellos before I do my speed shout outs. Lincoln Seller was first in. Uh, we've got Jam D99. That's a new name. Welcome. Uh, there's G Man. No, didn't we? Yes. Yes. What yes. was what? Something. <laughs> Is it? Have I got all of the stuff I need to do? Oh, yes, 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 I do. It's that, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, G-Man's in. Uh, Welsh Wonder, Nia, hi. There's Alan. We'll chat about Alan in a bit. Uh, we've got something to share that Alan has um, put into my capable hands, he thinks. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, King of Pennies. Or oh, did I say Louis? Louis New. Hello, Louis. Uh, King of Pennies, Gary Reynolds, lots and lots of people. I can't say hi to everyone. We'll be here all day. We already have nearly 300 people in, which is amazing. Let's say hi to Pete and Pete. Hi, Pete, Pete. Okay, let's whiz down to the end and quickly do some speed shout outs. Uh, oh, hi, Jesse. We're ding a ling in. Why are we ding a ling in? So people are um, sending you competing offers on Bruce Springsteen. Competing offers? I think you must have sent out offers. Oh, I have. Not competing offers, counter, counter offers. offers. I'm not accepting that on that. Um, okay. Yeah. So, hi, Jade. Good to see you. Right. That didn't work. Why didn't it go? There we go. <laughs> so, just quickly, um, thank you so much again this week. We've been overwhelmed by um, people messaging us and, and wanting to buy stuff that they've seen in recent hauls. A lot of the CDs went direct to subscribers. Um, and other people have chosen to shop from our eBay shop. The link is always below the videos if you do want to go and have a look. So quickly, uh, Joshua, who bought the Talking Heads CDs from that haul. Uh, Lisa bought the Fantastic Beasts book that we showed last week. David bought the Halloween 4 soundtrack. Uh, I think that's one that went to America. Um, oh, no, Gary in America bought the Bond soundtracks. That's the one that went to America. <laughs> um laurel bought some bowie cds 
I sent a whole load of Bowie to the Netherlands. That was Marinus. Um, thank you so much for that. It was all the rest of the Bowie that I had, all of the Duran Duran, the Queen stuff, all went off to the Netherlands. A big parcel went. That was amazing. Um, Anya. What does that say? Something game. What was that? Archers. Archers game. I can't read my own writing. Yes, and you bought the Archers game that we showed. Thank you. Oh, goodness. And John bought the Atmosphere that we showed last week. So thank you so much for those. Uh, Claire bought a Biffy, Biffy Clyro CD. Cliffy Byro. Cliffy Byro. And Rob bought some Duplo. Naomi bought some Duplo. And Sarah bought a big job lot of crockery. Well done. Thank you. That's almost as epic as... Harry Potter, um, somebody said they're Harry Potter plates. Now, uh, who was that? Can you quit? Um, Kathy, yes, I need to get back to you. Can you... Do you mind messaging me again? Was it on Messenger? I get so many, and if I go into a message, it kind of just shows as red, and I can't remember. I should be able to search Kathy's name to find that now. Actually, now I know who it is I'm looking yes. for. I was going to say your <laughs> that was almost as epic as Carla saying hello to everybody at the beginning of her life. <laughs> and with that, I also need to say a special hello to Carla. <laughs> you? Yes. A special hello. A special hello to Carla. Yes. Well, is this, I'm not party to this. What's going on? Right. Yes. Harry Potter plates, Kathy. I will try and message you. Uh, drop me a line again. We'll sort that out. Now, we've had some goodies. We will share some exciting things, but we've been sent stuff. You've been sent stuff. Um, didn't this come addressed to you? Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, okay. But no. you can do that one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now, G Man, who is in. Um, says hi Nick and Andrea when I was watching you the other night you mentioned that you had every Erasure album ever released but I bet you don't own these I don't these are coasters I'm going to open them in a sec I just wanted to give you these as a thank you for opening my eyes to the world of reselling and I will never look back because of your inspiration that has made me want to do the same as yourselves and go full-time in the near future thanks again and enjoy your new albums uh that's gordon g-man who is in the chat so thank you so much i have not opened these yet they're very cool so we have the covers to i've got the i've got the vinyl right here i could show it you it feels <laughs> like you shouldn't use them as coasters but like mount them on something i don't know i think they should be used i don't think so you'd spoil them i have that on vinyl double album as well that's pop they're best of i have that one on vinyl as well you could, um, yeah, you could sort of mount them on a canvas or something and frame it or just put it on your wall. I don't know. They are so nice. They're, They're really glossy. Really, really nice. uh, that's The Innocence, the first album I ever owned of theirs in 88. Wild came out in 89. Chorus came out in 91. And I Say I Say, which is brilliant, was out in 94, I want to say. Thank you so much for those. And... We had a postcard, didn't we? Have you seen, um, it, is Mr. Blobby in? I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> Hello, is it here? We just came back from watching Prisoner of Azkaban at our local cinema. It was weird seeing trailers for movies that were meant to have come out in the past couple of months. Yeah. Prisoner yeah. of Azkaban? That's a really old film. Yeah. Well, I suppose they're doing like, I don't know, some cinemas do like a morning special, don't they? Where they oh, right. An old film or something. That's cool. Well, at least the, um, the cinemas are opening. We were chatting with my parents yeah. who popped in earlier about how theatres are struggling and live music venues are, are struggling to stay afloat. So at least theatres are finding a way of yeah. opening. Yeah, well, cinemas, you mean. Right. You, do you want to read that? But I think Sahir's got a very cool cinema. They've got ones with little tables where you can sit and put your drinks on and stuff. I don't know. That's what I seem to recall that. <laughs> I might be wrong. Um, I'm doing right. this. I'm yes. Like, I'm doing this. We've got to crack through these because we've told these lovely people we have some exciting things. Um, so if you do our quiz, you'll know what this means. We've been sent a postcard. From Crinkly Bottom. <laughs> from from this from this fat pink guy. He's not actually fat and pink. That was quite rude. This has come from Mr. Blobby. Uh, that's his screen name. Uh, He's actually, his name's David. 
Um, other than being robbed for points in your quiz, I guess your content's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> high praise, high praise. If you know anyone selling white safety boots, send them my way. <laughs> well, I'm I'm very pleased this wasn't a complaint. So there you go, all the way from Crinkly Bottom. Yeah, we banged on about send postcards if, if you're not happy with how we judge our quiz. And we finally got one. So that will go on the wall. We're, we're gathering a quite a, an arrangement of things we've been sent now. Um, that re We've only That's just cool. opened that literally 10 minutes ago. And it really cracked us up. So I don't know if he's in. Oh, Daryl says, have you got my postcard yet? Um, if you sent one, no, we haven't. We, this is the first one we've had that we're aware of. And then quickly, uh, John, who um, he was a guest on the channel chatting about disc repair machines uh, about a month ago. Lovely guy. Got in touch and said that he, um, somebody local to him was selling some Pet Shop Boys vinyl. And he knows how much I'm into that. And it just so happened it was all stuff I didn't have. So he went and got it for me. And... He wanted something I had, and I wanted what he was able to pick up, so we did a little deal. And I now have Cleese on LP, tiny little picture in the middle, and the Stone Cold Classic from 87. Actually, it's got a strange sticker on it there. Yeah. It's a bit sun faded as well, but it's not too bad. This was the first album I ever bought. And the 12 inch single of It's a Sin. Ooh. I picked up a job lot of um, Pet Shop Boys 12 inches the other week, didn't I? And I'm pretty sure that wasn't in it. So thank you so much, uh, John. I have only just opened it and they look, they look better than you described, Julie. Really. They are quite worn, but excellent. I'll be playing those. And then, now, this was a... Oh, Carla loves that album. Which? I don't know. I, one of them. <laughs> oh, the Please are actually. <laughs> Please and actually are my two favourite albums by the band. Um, I, I think they, they peaked immediately for me. That was their first two albums, and they were brilliant. Now, there was no name with this. Um, thanks for your video content. All very good. I saw you needed some DVD singles, so here you go. Keep up the selling. Keep up the quizzing. Keep up the DMing. Now, I have a channel where I just chat about my obsession with Depeche Mode, and I'm collecting. And I've been finding the DVD versions of the singles from Playing the Angel really hard to get. And I don't know who this is. No name on the letter. But they have sent me three of the DVD singles that I was really struggling to get. I was blown away by that. So thank you, whoever you are. Definitely nothing. No, there's no name, no, no nothing. Oof. Right, should we share some stuff? I was, yeah, just thrilled by that. I just amazed how generous people are. Wow, I'm boiling. Have we got a normal chat up? Uh, I don't know. You can try and open one. Right. Shall we share something? Can you just open a normal chat? Because sometimes it's difficult to right. see. I'll do that and you start sharing them. Yeah? Yeah, hang on. What, what, what do you need? Just a, a chat popped out. I've got to find it somehow. Do, do, do. Now we're both not doing anything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was going to start sharing if you did this. Uh, I don't know if there's a quick way to do it. I'm just going to try and find the live video. Yeah. Amuse right, yourselves I, I for shall, a second. I shall find stuff to share. Oh, okay, that's not worked. Oh, goodness. It didn't work. <laughs> well, if it's going to be too difficult, never mind. I'll go into my phone. Oh, I'll if you can just do that, do that. Chat on my phone. Okay, I'll share one thing though because I've picked up off the floor now. Um, so yeah, we went to Bristol last week. You may have heard, <laughs> and um, and I picked up two things. <laughs> last of the big we spenders. Buy... I was worse than Josh, wasn't I last week? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what a claim to fame! I was worse than Josh in terms of spending. 
Um, anyway, I bought some, you'll be surprised, I bought some something wooden. Um, I bought some wooden vintage um, napkin rings. I witnessed Josh spend quite a lot of money. I was yeah, shocked. I know. So we have a set of these. So I keep going. You're still well, there. I can do. So we have a set of these, which are the round ones. There we and go. I, I have popped you out. There is a set of six of those. I've popped you out. What do you They're want really to do cool. with that? I just wanted to have a look at it. Um, and then these are the coolest. These are the ones I really love. We have a set of triangular ones. Look at those. So there's six of those, and they're all different shades of different woods. <laughs> you remember <laughs> where you were last week. Different, <laughs> different shades of wood is what I was going to say. <laughs> different, different types of wood. Are you getting all different innuendo shades. on us again at this early stage? <laughs> but they're the coolest thing. Look at those. So cool. <laughs> I get excited about the least little thing. I um, worked out what it was that confused us last week because I put everything that we picked up at the boot sale that we couldn't remember that we went to on a shelf, which is far mm -hmm. too organised for me. So I, I didn't pick any of it up and put it here where it normally is when we do a stream. So I was like, well, we didn't do a boot sale then because I've only got stuff from that other boot sale. And then we realised it was all there, didn't we? I'm yeah, trying. I'm trying to make confused. us look not as stupid as we really are. There is, yeah, but I'm sure that you discovered it then halfway through the stream. Hmm. Oh look, Laney likes my my wooden um, napkin rings. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall I share the first? Um, yeah. Can I? Can you? Exciting. I've built it up too much yeah. now. It's not going to be exciting. Can I do what? What are you trying to do? I want to look at this chat. Oh, okay. So we popped into a town nearby us uh, just for a wander and to have a little look in the charity shops. And I was really glad we did. I managed to find this little beauty. This is Battle Masters. It's actually new to me, um, but it's by MB. It's obviously vintage. And this is like an add-on pack for a uh, war games this battle masters is a, like a a bit like games workshop sort of thing i think it's mb's attempt to get into that sort of market that's what it looks like to me oh it's developed alongside games workshop there you go anyway so this is actually an expansion pack imperial lords and i did a quick search and one has sold recently for 90 pounds um and that was used this is still on its sprues as you can see so the that's like cavalry which has not been put together you've got all of the figures here which obviously have not been taken off the sprues and they've not been painted or anything you've got the instructions in there you've got the weapons here so it looks to be 100 percent complete and unopened so if a used one sold for 90 i don't i don't know what i could push for on that um the price on the label was two pounds so we said yes please indeed um like i said i've not bought and sold this before it was new to me um i was going to buy it anyway but i i did actually look it up in the shop um and was quite shocked <laughs> um but yeah so that was my little exciting board game well it's kind of a board game it's more of a war games thing um that you would add to so there you go has anyone ever sold battle masters before i've never come across it at all Oh, you're right. Yeah, I just would prefer to look at this chat because it makes more sense to me. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> and then the other. Now, we mentioned uh, Chelsea earlier. That's Alan, who's often in our chats, big supporter of the channel. We've got to know him over the years because we see him quite often at one of our regular boot sales. Now, he came up, had a chat with us today. 
and he said he'd brought this with him because he thought I might know what it was. Uh, we had a chat and I figured out it was N64 by the shape of the cartridge. Um, it's obviously like a double height thing and then it's got written on it. It says under here, property of THQ. Uh, THQ is a, like a development distribution company and it's got on it WrestleMania 2000 crossed out and then WWF No Mercy. Um, so we were standing there knocking about ideas. I thought maybe it was a promotional one or one that was sent around as a review copy. And then a random stranger came along, kind of listened in on the conversation, went, well, if you want my opinion, I think what that is was a, the cartridge they would have taken to like an expo, like a games show with an unreleased game on it. So anyway, Chelsea said, do you want to take it away and see if you can get it tested? I said, I don't know how long it will be until I get an N64 in, but it may be that I can, um, if Tom's coming down this way or I'm going up that way, I know Tom's got pretty much every console and we can get it tested and find out exactly what is on here. And then I can get it back to Chelsea and he can... Uh, see what he can achieve. I tried to find similars on completed, so I didn't have much luck, but I only had a couple of minutes before we went live. Has anyone um, sold or seen this double, it's like a double stack cartridge. It's really quite freaky. It's got some reference numbers on there. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited by this. Obviously it's not my item, it's Alan's, but I'm excited to find out what's on it how rare it might be, what sort of value you might be able to achieve yeah. um, or Alan might be able to achieve on this. So either I'm going to hold on to it until I can pick up an N64 or I will get it to Tom somehow or maybe we can get it tested and perhaps do a little video about what's on this cartridge. That would be so cool. Yeah. So it is in safe hands, Alan. Uh, we'll, we will work it out and I'll get back to you all when we discover exactly what this is. Looks like a re-recordable disc. Um, yeah, it does a bit, but it, it's just a solid state cartridge look. So I'm thinking it's just, a, I mean, it says PR002 there as if it is a promotional use cartridge. So it may not be mega rare, but I've never seen a lot tool theme one like that. Um, search results. Oh, I can't highlight that chat. That's the problem with that chat. It, about the WWF No Mercy. Is that yeah, what you were that's talking what about? I was reading. Yeah. So we're assuming one of these wrestling games is on here or mm. was on here. Uh, it's it's not a DD disc. No, I didn't. Don't plug it into a standard N64. Ooh. Okay. Is that a memory expansion for an N64? No, the memory expansions went in the expansion slot, didn't they? Yeah. There was a, a separate. Block. Even I know that. Yeah. It's an N64 development cart. Could be worth a fortune if it has something decent on it. Well, <laughs> WWF No Mercy, maybe. You know, still you like it. Somebody says. Someone, someone's here. <laughs> um, or maybe uh, ROMs. Don't plug. That's the worrying bit there, Sam. Don't plug it into a standard N64. Mm. Have you asked Tap Peddler Derek? No, I haven't. We This is the first time we, we've spoken about it. Um, looks like a dev cart, says uh, Zahir. Mm. Yeah, possibly. I mean, property of THQ, so it's something in-house, isn't it? It's not a publicly released thing. That seems fairly obvious. But what's on it and what the purpose is, we don't really know. Sorry, I'm just, just, just looking for something. Um, oh, oh, I can't read the chat. No, so anyway, we will do more research. Uh, if you do have any information, if you're watching this show oh, it's because we're in the wrong after the chat, place. after the fact, um, please let me know your opinions, what you think it is, what's the best way to find out what's on it. Somebody there was saying, don't plug it into a normal N64, mm. which is a worry because that's what I was going to do. <laughs> anyway, that's something to work on. Oh, so here's put a link in. Enough to. Okay, cool. If you can click on that right now, so you might have to. Yeah, if you right click and then open it in another okay. separate window and it will be there. Okay. 
open link in new window i'll have a look later um let's see what else people have said mm -hmm. on the, mm -hmm. on that what keep that chat open please i can't highlight comments i can go back to it um Watch hard for games, Nick, and be careful putting that in your normal M64 as it could wipe it. Wow. Um, okay, interesting. Used when developing games. Original Mario 64 promo copy. It doesn't say it says property of THQ, so that marries up with the wrestling titles. I don't think it's anything to do with Mario. Um, so it's a development cart, they would dump a work in progress game on them to test the game for bugs. So, in that case, you could plug it in a normal machine, though. I need to find somebody who's got an. <laughs> Nintendo 64 that they're happy for me to plug this into. I will do some research. It's a dev car. It's the dev kit. Okay. Oh, Andrew. Andrew happy birthday, Andrew, by the way. Um, says, have you asked um, Derek? No, I read that before. No. There's a, a Matt Walker shout out of the week. Right, well, let's do that. Anyway, oh, let me I'll get this. back to you if I find out any more. Um, and let you know the progress on that. Oh, it's so hot in here. Okay, it is time for Matt Walker's shout out of the week. <laughs> that went a bit weird today. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Hi, Nick and Andrea. Nice to be watching. Could you give a hello to my wife, please? Hi, Jim. Hello, Jim. Um, we are both knackered after being up from 5 a.m. Great first boot sale. Bought lots today, including. A head form for a head form. What's that? Something you put a hat on, isn't it? One oh, of those, like, okay. I don't know. Oh, that's right. what I was thinking, like a foam head. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Uh, or it's a typo. <laughs> it's for a pound, but that's cool. Yeah. Excellent. Good to see you, Matt. Uh, okay, so should we share more stuff? Let's share more stuff. We've done everything we wanted to do. We wanted to share the crinkly bottom. We wanted to share the cartridge. I've done my game I was overly excited about. I've done the vinyl. All right, let's crack on. Okay. Um, okay, shall I share something? Yeah. Now, we didn't. We went down to Bristol, as oh, you I may be aware. Off. Just click on something else and then take it off again. There we go. Oh, hang on. The tall okay. N64 flash prototype cartridges, which were loaned to the press, used for testing and even used to show off unfinished games at a wide range of expos. Right. That's what this random guy who sidled up to myself and Alan said, something along those lines. Again, which means it should be safe in a regular N64, potentially. Um, oh, NUS. Somebody sold a WWF No Mercy for $504. There's a, what's that code there? 16F32S. That's the same code. Wow, Alan, $504. Whoop. So anyway, we went down to Bristol last weekend. Um, it was Carla's birthday and it was um, Josh's birthday week as well, right? And Lex's all at the same time. Well, Josh was a while ago, but he didn't get to celebrate it. Yeah, it was a while <laughs> back. But anyway, yeah. and we went to a couple of boot sales. We didn't really buy a great deal. I don't know whether our heads just weren't in the game um, or it's because we were surrounded by other resellers. I don't know. But I picked up a few little bits. These are nice. These are chrome tapes. They are boots branded ones. Oh, Dave sent you a link as well. Yeah. Oh, cheers, Dave. Um. Briefly looked at comps before we went live on these. Somebody had sold a six pack of the identical tapes for almost forty pounds, but prices are all over the place. But I'll probably aim for I don't know thirty plus, or I might just go for the four. Well, and that was a pack of six. Probably go around thirty quid. Wow! And see what happens. Takes me back to the time when Boots had a little media department at the back. Yeah, I used to buy CDs in Boots. <laughs> Um, but yeah, chrome tapes, if you're new to this, um, the chrome ones are what the 
what people really want to go for the higher quality um and they can be worth really good money i've sold them used for pretty good money so sealed any steel cassettes are worth money chrome ones yeah much more right do you want to share something Sue says rumor has it there was a boot so he didn't go to <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, they told me we were sitting chilling in a pub and somebody said, oh, there's another boot sale we could have gone to. I'm like, why are we in the pub? <laughs> no, I was done by then, to be honest. <laughs> Just being silly, Kay. Well, Nick is anyway. <laughs> I wanted to see Apparently, if you'd, if you'd, if you'd I noticed. I noticed it straight away as soon as I sat down. <laughs> right, um, should I share something? Yeah. This, this, this may happen every week now. You're going to call me something different every week. Would would, would I do that? <laughs> right, you're going to show your curtains again? Yeah, I've got some curtains. This isn't a regular thing. I just can't resist lovely vintage things. And these are lovely vintage curtains. Sure. Right. We didn't actually get them out because they were all sealed up in the bags. Um, so I'm hoping they haven't got massive great stains or damage on them but... is that what you paid or did you get your haggle on no you got your haggle on i think you did I? got her down to what did she want at three pound each two... no 250 i think we paid her less i'm pretty sure we did so there's two pairs got their lovely tie backs okay <laughs> i think she said she used to have it in a little i don't cottage, remember the purchase or... Do you want me to hold them up? You can. Yeah, they're little short ones. She used to have them either in a camper. She might have had them in her camper. Oh, they're even nicer than I thought they were. Look at those. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're going to sit like that for the rest of the live stream. Yeah, so I've got two pairs like that, which were either in her holiday cottage or in a... Um, camper van or something so my mum has those curtains says matt oh really um yeah i can't see any labels on them so they might have been adjusted or professionally made or whatever well hello heather popping in to say hi glad we're all grabbing Why cottage is... core curtains <laughs> yes i literally got as far as seeing your curtains earlier <laughs> And then Nick's mum and dad turned up. So I haven't seen the rest of your haul yet. But yeah. So Louise, we're not trying to um, um, muscle in on your, on your curtains. That sounds all wrong. <laughs> but, At the speed we list stuff, these will never get lit. There's a, there's a mountain growing of I've curtains. I've had vintage curtains in a box for about two years now. So I need to have like just a week where I just list vintage material, vintage curtains, vintage duvet covers and bedding because i've just been hoarding it and not doing anything with it well that's kind of how it's gone we tend to we pick up this sort of stuff when we do uh and it tends to just build up until we go we really need to list that yeah. 20 pairs of curtains and duvets and stuff yeah so that's what will happen soon because we've built up a lot now i picked up i picked up some curtains too <laughs> these, these ones mine are, are way more are exciting way more exciting no look Where's Steve Green when you need him? <laughs> Mine have got Ben 10 all over them. Hey? Eh? Oh, they're not curtains though, are they? Are they? Yes. Oh, yeah, they are. I thought I was buying a duvet cover. For, I a, think minute, I... for a minute there, because it just they felt really thin. I thought, oh, maybe they're not. Maybe they're a sheet. Well, I said to you the know? woman, how much is your duvet cover? And she went, what, these curtains? <laughs> I went, oh, are they? How much are your curtains? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no idea, but they should sell. They were they were very cheap. Um, was that no? That was on your parcel, wasn't it? Yeah. So she did oh, want two fifty for a pair, and I'm fairly sure we either paid three or four. I think we paid three because she was like, "Oh, oh, for two fifty a curtain was it? Really? Yeah. Not a curtain for there were two different pairs. Oh, we got two pairs. Yeah." <laughs> Anyway, yeah, and I think I paid uh, a pound or something on these. I can't remember. We bought a load of media. I did buy quite a bit of media there, most of which is still over there. It's nothing exciting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. You got, you got confused nice... earlier, didn't you, when um, you were asking a price on a, a board game, and he said, 
and then I asked a price on something else at almost exactly the same time. And he was like, oh, oh, and he went, oh, two pounds, meaning for the two, like one pound each. And it put the board game down. And I said, well, aren't you going to buy that then? It's a new pound. He went, no, he wants two pounds for it. <laughs> he got so confused. He you was confusing not, me. You could not get in your head. It was only a pound. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't buy much in Bristol, but I did buy a Lego sword and a shield. I do like these. These are like the foam ones that you can... I think they sell them at Legoland and stuff, don't they? It satisfies the little boy, and he doesn't it? Ben 10 curtains and Lego sword and shield. <laughs> right. These are cool. If you could have a man cave, that would be... <laughs> I wouldn't have Lego... But lots of Nerf guns. Well. Yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of Nerf guns... Spoken, Anyone that was with us soon. in Bristol knows I might have bought a Nerf gun or, yeah. or 50. Right. Um, I don't know why I'm giving you that. Yeah, I paid either a pound or 50 pence uh, for these. I tend to get a few and list them. There you go. Mm. Um, right. Do you want to share something? Um. In, yes, I will. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm doing something here. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Well, I can share this. Shall I share this? Now, Dance Dance Revolution is the Konami dance game on Nintendo Wii. Um, take a look at completeds on uh, two and three. Just the Solus can go for 20 quid and beyond. Um, I don't know if that's because they didn't sell in many numbers and they're just rare and the collectors are after them or people are buying them to use. But I managed to pick up, uh, this is Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party 2. Uh, so, yes, yeah, Solus, I've seen that go for about 20 on its own. But I do have the original Konami dance mat, um, which <coughs> now the, there was a mother and daughter and the mother kept saying to me, oh, it's been, it's unused, it's unused. Look at the state of it. It doesn't have its outer box. It's obviously been out of the thing. And she kept saying, yeah, it's unused, it's unused, it's unused. And the daughter then piped up and what did she say? Oh, <laughs> she said, if it hasn't been used, why is the box all tattered and torn? <laughs> yeah, the mother was like, shh, shh. <laughs> um, But it's still got its paper around it and it looks maybe like this has not been used. Um, anyway, so probably 30 quid i'll shoot for on that and i paid three i think they wanted five maybe and i ended up with it for three hurrah hurrah shall i say um have you done everything from the no from no the boot all right no. we better do everything from the boot cell before we start on charity oh, shop stuff yeah might as well um the first boot sale we went to with Carla and Josh, um, Heather, Lex, Aid, um, we were struggling to find much. And I think the first thing I actually picked up <laughs> was some broken dolls. Um, these are Monster High. Uh, I've sold these in bundles for years. I do have a few knocking around that aren't in this state of affairs. Armless handless anyway uh, there's a big bundle um and i was chatting to the lady on the stall and she was like it's not my stuff you're gonna have to wait until so and so comes back that whole thing um so eventually she came back didn't she and she was she was open to the offer that i made on all of them anyway there's more in the bag i don't know how many there are one two three four five six seven eight one two three Eight or nine, and I got the whole lot for three pounds. I think all of them have at least something wrong, but it's not a problem because people buy these to modify and make up their own dolls and stuff. So, yeah, it's probably, I don't know, it's been a while 20 quid, I would think. It's not great, but right. Are you making people moderators again? You know what happens when we do this. Might have made a mistake. Who knows? Don't do it. Don't do it. Might be the dodgy Georgina. Don't, it's just crazy, crazy idea. 
Right. Do you want me to share the other few bits? Oh, should I show a fail? Do you want to see an epic fail? I remember when this came out, when we had our gaming shop, and it did quite well for us, and it's it's got the little microphone so you can talk into your PSP and it translates from like five languages or whatever it is. And this was on a stall for 50 pence, and I thought, surely... But no, people are selling these new for like three pounds. No. People are selling job lots of these, like 30 of them in a box for 20 quid and stuff. So, yeah, epic fail. I, I thought that there'd have to be like a tenner in that, surely. I mean, it, it's getting on a bit now, PSP, quite eclectic format. And this has the little PSP mic. But no, don't pick these up. They're a waste of money. Yes, Josh, my, my mug has a bird on it. Why is that significant? Am I missing something? Why is, why is it? Why is the bird significant? Well, I have no idea. I don't know either. Um, okay. So, what do you want me to do? I've got loads of stuff. You might as well share something. Um, Go okay. for it. I'll show you something else with a bird on it. I shared this on Instagram if anyone follows me on there. Uh, clear thoughts. Has anyone else's sales been Ugh. slow this week? Ours were, actually. Um, we didn't weren't too productive on the listing front, so that might have been part of it. But I think sales slowed for a lot of people this week. Yeah, our sales are really slow. Anyway, I bought a set of Strawberry Thief pattern, which is a William Morris pattern, cake tins so need my assistant <laughs> so we've got the big the bigger tin a medium sized tin and can't get it out so the actress is bigger strawberry thief and a smaller tin Oh, I see. The birds are nicking yeah. the strawberries. So they're all the same pattern, slightly different colours on each tin. <coughs> I just love them. I absolutely I love William Morris um, designs anyway. But I absolutely love those. You're right there. You've yeah. got water. Love those patterns, says Victoria. Uh, scooter slag. Yeah, my sales slowed. Yeah, they're gorgeous, um, aren't they, Corey? Oh, I love a cake tin, says... <laughs> So I couldn't Honey. find any that had had sold recently, so I've no <coughs> no idea on value really. But um, I did see two different style tins, not cake tins at all, um, both in the same design that had sold used for fifteen, just two. Um, Debbie McGee, <laughs> yeah, my my assistant. Yeah, so you paid uh... no, two seventy five. At first, I thought it was one tin because I didn't pick them up. <laughs> And I thought, well, oh, that's expensive for a tin. Um, and then I picked them up and realised it was a set. So, what, what do you think you might aim for then? I think I'm gonna. I might aim for fifteen, something like that. Aim, aim as for, I said, aim for twenty. Then see what happens. <laughs> as I said, there were two a set of two tins, different, not cake tins, different types of tins, but they sold for fifteen used. So, yeah, I'm not going to lose any money. Definitely. Nice tin, says Pleasant Valley. Are you keeping or selling? They're to sell. They're to sell, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have had a slow week. Somebody was saying it may be to do with schools going back and people aren't really in their head mm, space. It might be. Not going back, breaking up. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going back yet. Uh, quickly, I picked up a GameCube Mario Party 7. Wow, nice game. Very happy for two pounds. I need to get home and find a crack around the inner circle question, can it be saved? If the crack has already gone into the data layer, no, it's gone. If the crack hasn't extended into the where the data starts, if it's just on the clear bit, it may still be okay, but you wouldn't be able to guarantee that that crack won't extend. Yeah. So you would have to list it as it's got a crack. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Oh. What? Sam bought matching coasters of Strawberry Thief. Oh, ah, cool. Hi, Sam. Yeah. 
Uh, right. Um, again, like I say, I, I really didn't find a lot at the first boot sale we went to uh, with uh, the Bristol crew, but I did find this kind of bog standard for me. It's a Sony little mini DVD player. It's not Blu ray, this is it, just DVD. See, oh, Stall69 is saying if you score the crack at the end, um, it won't spread any further. Oh, that's a good tip. I was thinking while I was saying it, and I've, I've never tried this, but you could try super gluing like the top and both sides of it. I don't know. That's just off the top of my head. Do do what <laughs> yeah. someone else is saying. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Sony Blu-ray uh, paid a uh, couple of quid, and it's it's 20 quid all day long. It's got the remote. So. That's that. Oh, and it's got the... The doobly do, as, Tom, as, Tom, as Tom would say. <laughs> it's got a doobly do. Right, um, You're going to share something? Yeah. So on our charity shop jaunt, I also bought this really pretty jug, which I think is vintage. Might not be, but it was really pretty, um, and it was two pounds. Hello, junk girl. Good to so. see you from across the pond. Um, oh, are we getting offers on tins? I did offer £10 for the cake tins. I see that Skilt has offered 30 Oh, we'll have to send me a message on Instagram. Um, yeah, if you're interested in anything that I've got, just pop me a message, a, a DM on Instagram, and we can sort something out. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure you'd be more than happy with that then. I mean, if you were thinking... Oh, I would definitely be happy with 30 if yeah. it was serious. <laughs> absolutely um, yeah. uh yours if you want to if you want them for that that's that's more than generous thank you so much we've got a super chat we have it's actually working it's actually showing up at the top as it should do it's a oh no we've got a super sticker from simply me thank you um that's... hi simply me what do we um, are we not meant to see a sticker then a little picture thing because there's nothing there and then we've got a super chat from bargains mad bought a bo box of cassette tapes for three pound from a local charity shop um there was now tapes one to 58 would you sell single or just sell as a bundle wow tapes one to oh wow that's that's worth a lot of money the um, later ones more so aren't they yeah when cassettes weren't as much in demand yeah the, the later ones when they start to phase out cassettes can be worth really good money i would say do your research um you might want to do little like 10 like uh, all the 20s together, all the 30s together. Just do some research and, and find out what, what works well. If you're happy to just list them individually and wait, you'd probably get more money, but it's a lot of effort and work. It's, it's that balance, isn't it? How much work do you want to put in when you could list the whole lot and maybe get X amount of hundreds of pounds or work a lot harder and maybe get twice that. But that's an epic... Mm. One to 58 for three quid... Wow. Was was one even on tape? I thought it was just on vinyl originally. I don't know. Either anyway, yeah. Good luck with it. That's that's yeah. epic. And thank you for the, the super chat. Um, before you scroll, mm -hmm. people were saying about the jug, so um looks like a 17s orange juice jug, says yeah, Carl. Yeah, that's what Carl said. That's cool. Okay, said nice jug. <laughs> oh, look, can I just read that out? That's really cool. Uh, Clive oh. says, I found an Amstrad 8060 in a skip today, had permission to take it, very good, even got permission to skip dip, uh, cleaned it up, and it all works, could not believe my luck. That's wow, epic. That's fantastic. No idea what an Amstrad 8060 might be worth. but. And then Victoria Plum says, yes, looks vintage, I've got a similar one with raspberries on. Also, I thought it looked it, but you can never be sure you know completely sure sometimes but yeah thank you yeah i just love anything that's you know oh, dave's offered 10 quid for the dev cart mm. not mine <laughs> to sell anyway dave so I, I, but i think it would be a no for man <laughs> yeah i love anything sort of 70s 80s looking anyway so it's good to know that it's probably vintage yeah um okay so 
Um, I also found this in the same charity shop. Just a little plant pot um, says made in Belgium. So I just really like the design on it. And it was £1.50. Oh, and Amstrad. Oh, I was thinking the Amstrad was a computer. Apparently, it's a twin cassette radio. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I, imagining an Amstrad computer. Yeah, immediately, as soon as it said Amstrad, I had, had a computer in my head. So, a Panasonic. <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't vintage when I married him. For <laughs> Dave. <laughs> At ninety pounds in a charity shop. Wow, that's wow. It's hot in here. It is, isn't it? I should right. open the window. Are you still going? Or should I share my epic nerf haul? <laughs> I don't know what to say to that really. Yes or no? Yeah, share your uh, epic nerf no, I can't even say it. Yes. <laughs> Do have, you, that. have you done that? Do that. Do I've, done, I've just done that, but you, you spoke over me while I was doing it. So that's why you didn't hear me do it. I was, I was busy reading the chat. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, so at the when we were in Bristol, the, the first boot sale... Oh, I've got one thing left. It's, it's almost like Christmas, isn't it? I've got one thing left. The, the main thing I bought was... Um... Oh, I've got two things. <laughs> oh. Carry on. We went to the famous filler bag stall that Carlo and Josh talk about. And uh, I didn't fill a bag. I, mm. I negotiated on the guy's big stack of nerf. Um he had a box full of Nerf, and the the lady at the store was happy to sell me the lot for a tenner. And he was like, "Oh no, no, no! It's it's twenty quid." But I ended up with it for fifteen, so it included Havoc Fire, which is great. Um, uh, should I just leave the room now? <laughs> if, if you must, is it safer? Which is great, but it has the belt. But anyone got a crash helmet? Um. Spot the issue. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a bit knackered. Um, so this will be sold at uh, Spares Repair. Um, and then there's just, I don't know how many guns. So you've got loads of your yeah, bog standard Maverick. Uh, I said that off the top of my head, but I'm worried I'm wrong. No, Maverick. Oh, I don't know. Barricade, which is an electric one. Let's see if we've got batteries in. Oh. Got no ammo. Um, Victoria Plum says, could my jug be Luminarch? I don't know. Would it have a would it have a mark on it somewhere? Would it say if it was? Because I couldn't see a mark. Couldn't see a mark on it anywhere. Um, there's loads of it. There's also um, Matt Walker says um, that he saw one of those guns, the big ones, for four pounds today. Should he have bought it? Probably. I've not sold one for a while, but the most I ever got on a Havoc Fire was 150. <laughs> but that was on Amazon about three years ago. I have no idea on current prices. Probably nowhere near that. But I, I, um, that was FBA, and I got 150 for that exact gun working not in that condition and it had the tripod and a fully functioning belt etc yeah there's a uh, super soaker and then there's loads more regular guns and then a bunch of this stuff now this is nerf rebel they kind of made a a girl's line i think based around um it's not got any it's not got any ammo okay and what was the film with um where she has a bow and arrow and uh, Hunger Games. Oh, yeah. I think it was a Hunger Games time. Maybe I'm wrong. But there's a load of these. So um, these will all be bundled up. Just so I can quickly read this out, I'm just going to interrupt you. Um, Pixie Gaming, hello, um, says, how's everyone, with, how's everyone with car boots? I'm still nervous to go to them. Too many tourists here. Um, I'm just glad I picked up car boot job lots off Facebook before lockdown happened. See, that's cool. You can't get it out of the box. 
Yeah, one's boxed. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know what you mean. It is, you have to keep your wits about you, let's put it that way. <laughs> you do, and I've got Nerf guns about. Oh, well, yeah, but. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> oh, dear. Hang on. I don't even know how that fires. Hmm. Anyway, um, so I don't know how many guns. Yeah. There's loads and loads and loads of guns. All of that was 15. And then um, Aid actually spotted these. Uh, a, a car had turned up late and we're just setting up. And Aid said, you're into Nerf, Nick. That guy's got some. I went over and a chap was looking at these and umming and ahhing and, and kept putting them down and picking them up and putting them down. So I got over there and I patiently waited and then he put them down again and I picked them up <laughs> and I said, how much? And he said a pound each. And I walked off with them after paying for them. Um, the, the guy had a load more of the these. Oh, I actually got this one off him as well. Um, he had a bunch more of these and the other chap ended up buying all of the other ones of these. He had like five or six of them uh, at 50 pence each. Uh, I got that one and those two big mega guns these are cool these take the big the bigger um bullets and they whistle they've got a little cut in them and they oh this one's got ammo in monkey crow says scared of nerf um seems like a very awkward packing job yeah i mean they, they can be bulky but they're 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 built to be used and abused, so there's not much that can break on them. So they've got that in their favour. Um, anyway, Vicky Harvey says we went to Hearts Air Ambulance today. One pound per kilo was mega busy. Long queue in Stevenage. Hearts Air Ambulance. Which one's that? I don't know. I'm just trying to picture where it is. I can't think which one that is. Yeah, we've got one in here. Oh, there's there's one on that little um, the one that Alison's been to. I don't think we've been to yet. It's oh. down in one of the little uh, shopping arcade bits. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? One of the yeah regional bits out in the town. No, you know. Nick is not like this on Christmas morning. He's usually come on, let's stop opening presents, and I want to go eat something. <laughs> Is that your impression of me at Christmas? <laughs> you usually just want to, us all to hurry up, hurry up opening your presents. We've got to go and have dinner at mum's. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, I can't deny it. It's got no ammo, it shoots itself in the eye. Oh, Luminarch seemed to have a quite distinctive shaped handle. Looks like that. You can click on these, you know. Looks like that. Is it not? So you've, you've looked for a mark, yeah? Yeah, couldn't see anything. <laughs> so what's the consensus on this? It's 70s or something? <laughs> made, you, made you echo. Hello. <laughs> yeah? Um, possibly. Might be 80s, I guess. Yeah. Do you have any personal injury yet? No. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. I was just reading that as it went past. I've not heard that word before. Covid idiots. There was a total load of Covid idiots at my boot sale today. The sales staff had to shout at them to social distance, but still they didn't take any notice. Mm. There is a segment of society that seems to be just doing their own thing, mm -hmm. right? And not caring. Um, yeah, so we have to take evasive action from them. Um it wasn't so bad today. We were selling yeah, today, um, and I don't think the crowds were there because the weather, we got drenched. We haven't talked about that yet, actually. Um, we went we have. only briefly. We said we got wet three times. Um, we, we went to have a big clear out, a lot of personal items and some old stock from the business, and we shifted a lot in volume of stock. But then the heavens opened, and we had a lot of uh, clothing, again, some of our stuff and some stock. And it came on so quick that the clothing just got really wet. And then the sun came out and we spread it all out and it dried. Oh, it was lovely. It was lovely for about an hour. And then out of nowhere, torrential again. 
all wet again. And then the sun came out and it dried, and then it, yeah, it went on and on like this. Thank you, Carrie. But all of the punters were just staying away mm. for the kind of second half of the boot sale. So takings kind of plummeted after that. But there so you here go. It says we sold a pair of Mega Centurion at our car boot sale. Oh, I've sold that guy. Yeah, that like yay long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's one in Hitchin, but um I think in Stevenage. Um, yeah. I think we were talking about the one in Stevenage. That was a warehouse sale for the air ambulance. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we missed that completely. We missed out on that. That's fine. <laughs> what oh, was yeah. Ashley saying there? This is what Vicky was saying. Um, it's in the industrial estate. Oh, that it's would have been us. fun. Yeah. We didn't get wind of that one. We didn't. Uh, just scroll off a bit. Uh, nightmare to pack, but I got 40 quid plus postage for a Nerf mega blaster barrel gun it was huge mm. yeah it is surprising what you can get some of them oh right victoria plum says 60s or 70s okay that's cool awesome excellent and yes exactly like that i need to write that down what did what was it called luminarc i don't know yeah that's what you said i think uh Who is it we saw today? We saw someone today and had a chat. Uh, I'm not good with names, I'm afraid. I, Ian. Ian, yes. Sorry. I don't know if Ian's in. Well, it, we're not. Uh, that, <laughs> I'm not good with names, and Ian says I always pronounce his name wrongly. So, yes. Yeah, uh, Niall in. got drenched today as well, uh, and he was selling. I think I was Mr. Angry. We were just Mr. and Mrs. exasperated by the end of it. We came home with a, well, we came home with a, a car full of um, clothing that had got wet again for like the third time. So we then spread it out in the back garden in the glorious sunshine. Yeah, and Ellen said it hasn't rained here all, all day. <laughs> but it rained when we put all the clothes <laughs> out, right? So it then got wet for the, it's like, oh my. Yeah. Mm. Eventually we got it dry though. Most of it. There's still a couple of crates of clothing, um, which we are in the process of drying, and we are going to donate. Or is it cancer research? We're going to take everything we have left. Yeah. So what we have left uh, is all going to cancer research, and that that will be it. That's us done boot sailing for the year, I think. Yeah. Selling. <laughs> okay, so I've got two more charity shop finds to go. Um, one is a little pot with fairies on it which just, I was just really attracted to. It's wood for a start. It's got fairies on it. You can't go wrong. <laughs> but it's really sweet. That's that's the inside of it. And I have absolutely no idea on a resale price, but I couldn't leave it there. It was £2. Pounds. There you go. There'll be a market for that. There'll be yeah, people that would really I like that. It's really well be. made, actually. It is. It's really beautiful. If it's you are gold, interested, you know, it's all like um, gold colour, sort of, is it painted on? No, they're brass inlaid. Yeah, I did think that was. I'm pretty sure that's brass inlaid oh, okay. stuff. There's a fair bit of work gone into that. Yeah. So, it's stunning. yeah, anyone out there wants it, send us a message or name your price and we'll say yeah. yay in the chat if you want to do yeah. it that way. That worked Luminar. earlier. Yeah, that's what I've written down. Thank you, Victoria Plum. I, I, always say victoria plum because i know that's not your real name that is the more i look at it the more i can see how much work's gone into that yeah it's really really beautiful oh it's got little kind of i don't know what whether they're just for support it's got little bits in the side that little square bits oh okay um hugh says i think that jug might be a collect might be part of a collection if i remember correctly that would make sense okay like you could I'll get, do a bit of google research you'd get like little uh yeah, you, tumblers yeah. oh that would have been lovely wouldn't it to found a set yeah 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 okay right. oh you... look monkey crow found a crate of cindy furniture for seven pounds never would never would have known Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. What it was, if I 
if I'd not seen your video, I assume you mean, yeah, the Cindy stuff that we had, I guess it's about a month ago. Actually, it was the first day charity shops we opened and we found that big crate of Cindy stuff. Uh, we sold all of that and I think I ended up with about 50 quid, I think, on the box. Um, yeah, that went really well for us. Mm. So hopefully you'll do well. Would you say crate of Cindy furniture for seven pounds? Wasn't that about what we paid? I think we might have paid eight. Eight, I think it might have been. Yeah. Um, yeah, good stuff. What we had sold really quick. I we've think... still got the sofas and stuff. No, right? it's all gone. Is it? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's just because it's still, we haven't ended the listing. It's still on. The... Oh, sure. I sold it all. Yeah. Yeah. I think I keep seeing it because it's. Um, oh, and it's been... on the out of stock option, so we haven't ended the listing yet. Yeah, I think what really helped um, with our lots, particularly the kitchen lot, was we had loads and loads of accessories, <laughs> didn't we? Pots and pans and knives and forks, and that it just flew out. I probably could have asked more, actually. <laughs> how, how can you pronounce Ian wrong? I think it's because it's all in one word Ian B something, his last name, yeah. and I was pronounce the whole thing thinking it's a a different name <laughs> but it's just ian b something but it's all together i don't, I don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know but from now on i'm just gonna say ian right i'm holding your you're holding my fairies yeah wood fairies and a pot win yes absolutely 20 pound item i'd say ricky picky it's not, no, it's not a musical box. No, I mean, it could have housed a musical. I don't think it did. But I don't think no. so. I don't think. I think it's just a trinket box. Uh, a quite nicely made trinket box. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, Mark says, saw an almost identical box to that in Germany selling for converted price yeah yeah i was just like stunned <laughs> 340. yeah I, I i don't think this is I a 340 know. pound box i mean what do we know but it it looks nicely made but it doesn't look 340 pounds worth of box no. <laughs> who knows but another one to research <laughs> hurrah there's certainly no maker's name or anything like no, that. no there isn't but again, if you're going oh, to go. if you're going to individually inlay bits of brass, that's a lot of work. Yeah, Victoria Plum says, I don't mind people know my real name is Lindsay. I have a profile photo up to, but no idea how to do it. I'd have a profile photo up, but no idea how to do it. Okay, it's some people don't like to have their real names on on internet. Yeah, my real name's here. <laughs> Right. Well, how are we doing for time? Oh, it's ten past already. You know, show us, show us your bottom. <laughs> it's got nout on. It's yeah. It's just a flat bottom. A flat. What's Josh going on about? Did you take the box back that you stole? Did we steal a box. Oh, from the charity shop. Yes. What happened? No, we didn't steal a box. Do you remember when we bought the Cindy stuff? There was the Cindy stuff and that oh. other brio and the label oh, wow. on it. And we didn't even know we were filming and we filmed it in the back of the car. We had so many messages saying that box said, do not take box out of shop. Um, so yeah, I dropped it off <laughs> back at the shop. <laughs> um, so I've got one thing left to show, and it is this vintage bracelet which looks like that. Um, Kelly, do you know, is that what you would call, or, or Lex, if you're still in the chat, is that what you would call um, Damascene? I'm trying to get it closer so that you can see, because it doesn't focus if you get it really close. So now I'll have to take a photo and show you. I wasn't sure. It was only a pound. It's nothing particularly special. It's not, you know. Well, is it not brass then? I don't know. Oh, it's got one of those clips. Yeah, that... it's got a box clasp. Is that what you call it? It is. Okay. Oh, that was fake Lex. See, it's difficult. If I'm in the stream yard, I can't see who's fake and who's not. So I see a name. I think it's um 
<laughs> yes, damascene. Thank you for your vintage. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah. cool. I, I think know, that'll have a market. And I thought, well, it's a, bit, it's a bit rubbed in different places, but perhaps that just adds to its charm. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought I'd give it a go because it's That's really pretty. meant to be the link to cross there, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Might need, yeah, could get the pliers on that. Yeah, I can fix that. Yeah. Damascene Toledo. Okay, thank you, Kelly. Taking notes. A lot of work has gone into that box. Indeed. This box. Right, have we shared all we're going to share? Um, I've shared all that I've got to share. I'll tell you what else I've bought at, at Bristol. What what's are on it? What what? <laughs> what does what, what mages? Does what does that mean? Images. Thank you. Images. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was some um, What mages are on it? I thought it was a you know te Images. technical tap. <laughs> um it's got they're just um <laughs> floral kind of motifs. Look how flushed I am. It's so hot in here. I feel like I'm in a sauna. It's just, yeah, floral and decorative, aren't they? Yeah, I'll take a picture and show you anyway. Can't really You'll see. Be able to see better in the picture. Yeah, it doesn't focus on it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, last okay. thing. When we were in, in Bristol, I've switched chat, so you want to be here if you want to look at that one. Um. I bought loads of wallpaper. Okay. Didn't I? Yes. <laughs> he, he buys wallpaper wherever he goes. Well, I bought loads today, and I bought loads um, wherever we were when I got that lot. Mm -hmm. Got loads of it. Loads of wallpaper. Planning a bit of DIY. <laughs> no, it's void, void for your dear. I'm done with wallpaper. Uh, yeah. Right. Has Nick licked any bench? Don't start bench lick talking. Is that a thing? Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, Dorothy, can I ask what the spanner icons are? Yeah, that means they are a moderator um, and they they can delete comments or time people out if they're being daft. Um, yeah. They are the special people who keep the chat clean, the special people. <laughs> Like Carla, special. <laughs> Spanners are real people special. too. Are you going to decorate the living room then? Oh, <laughs> we wallpapered the living room, and it and it's been a disaster. No, it, well you've seen it, and okay, yeah, I just... think it's because the amount of steaming you used to do in that room. Mm, I did use it. <coughs> it's peeled and it's awful. It all needs coming off. Yeah. But if we move house, we might just leave it. Hurrah! Well, somebody's going to come in. I reckon someone's going to come in and pretty much rip the house apart and remodel it. True. I think they will. Why change anything if someone's yeah. going to come in and make it their own? That's the way I see it. <laughs> Lindsay <laughs> says she doesn't know how to use her spanner. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, there are little dots. If you hover over somebody's name to the right of their name, there are three little dots. Um, and if you click on that, then you've got options of what you can do. But don't let the power go to your head. <laughs> no. I'm only joking. Um, just quickly, Leanne. Yeah, we haven't mentioned oh. that. Uh, very early stages, but we have been thinking about it for a while, uh, and we are now thinking about it more seriously. Um, but if anything's going to happen, it probably won't be for quite a while. Um, although the government have actually announced incentives mm. for buying houses, which may speed up the process because I'm not we're not sure exactly how long it is. It a year? I think it might I have been. I don't know what the time limit is on it. Where they've scrapped stamp duty up to half a million, was it? Oh, still giving me so some good. That's given us a little bit of imp impetus to 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 look, and we are thinking uh, we're going to look in Suffolk and Norfolk. But it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean we're we're moving imminently, or that's where we're going to go. We're just um, thinking about it quite seriously. Thank you, Stall. Is that what you info on your jug? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, oh, there'll be a tat cave somewhere. I don't think you're for sale. Are you for sale currently? No. 
no. definitely not for sale. Not for sale. And if I was, I'd be very expensive. Oh, Claire's in Norfolk. It's lovely. I love Norfolk. I spent a lot of time in Norfolk as a teenager sailing uh, on the broads, obviously. And we've had some good holidays up that way. Yeah. So Norfolk is on the cards, but we nothing's going to happen imminent, imminently. Yeah. Um, um, what I, do you mean, Dave? <sighs> it's nice in Norfolk. <laughs> um, yeah. What I think we'd like, because we've got a really small garden right now, is some bigger garden so that we can put some kind of prefab um office type thing you're obsessed yeah, with I this know. prefab I office know. i want a prefab office just have a bigger house and have a big office in the house <laughs> i don't know i'm obsessed with it <laughs> yeah um part of the idea is if we're going to talk about that for a minute um we prices in hitchin have spiraled in the last couple of decades yeah. since we bought this place it has doubled in value and we we have family ties here but there's no reason for us to be in this location and this location is really sought after now so we could buy a an equivalent house or a larger house in a different part of the country for way less so it's a way of releasing a lot of the equity because so we have 100 percent equity in this so a way of releasing that equity and basically having an instant retirement fund would be to move house and that's always been the long-term plan but we might bring that forward that's the idea if that sums it up cool what well i've got three comments i want to say kara says suffolk is better just saying well yeah we're going to look in suffolk um we're going to explore it we have family a little bit of family there that we can go and visit while we do it um yeah we we've been there camping a couple of we times stayed at wells lovely. yeah lovely. um where else did i see and Sheringham, I really like. Um... Oh, yeah. Marilyn says I'm priceless. That's, yes, that's that's what it is. I'm priceless. I had a price to Yes, and definitely a dog in it too. Definitely a dog. Um... Oh, we were chatting about Monty today because my parents came over mm -hmm. and uh, we got on to talking about dogs. Um, and then... we were saying to them, it's two years uh, last week that we lost Monty um that's flown by and i just want to say thank you to lee for, for google just search doing a little bit of um wooden research, fairy yeah. brass inlay i found your box okay i will take a look after this thank you very much cool uh yeah, lee's so... found it and we haven't even listed it yet <laughs> how is that possible <laughs> i'm guessing it was a different one okay Let's scroll down. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I just wanted to say thank you to Lee there. Yeah, um, two years has, has gone incredibly quick. Uh, if you are relatively yeah. new to the channel, you may not know, we um, we had a little dog. He was he was my little best mate, and he died really yeah. tragically two years ago when we were on holiday, which mm. oh, I don't know was a blessing or a curse, not being here when it happened. And uh, the, these two, as in... Andrea and my daughter Ellen have been on at me to get another dog since um and I'm almost at the point where we we're ready to do that yeah we'll never ever replace Monty but um <laughs> <laughs> yeah I fell in love with Carla's little tiny dog yeah. when I was there um Monty is irreplaceable um but there it leaves a very big dog shaped hole in your life <laughs> and in your heart and um, yeah, it needs filling. <laughs> yeah, if you search for some of the earlier videos, you'll you'll see him if you've not met him before. Um, okay, dog prices have gone up. Well, we will almost certainly be rescuing a dog anyway. Yeah. Um, that's if in our minds, I think if if you're going to take on a dog, there are so many that need people to take them on and adopt them so i think that's what we'll do that's what we did last time we're not knocking the buddy in any way shape or form we love him <laughs> yeah 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 loved monty yeah a lot of people did oh I still miss monty in your videos hasn't it gone quick though yeah it really has yeah wasn't knocking the butt oh i was all <laughs> i was literally all over buddy when i was there yeah uh, we 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 bonded 
I bonded a little bit with Kai as well over over a ball. Kai was only interested in the ball. He didn't give a monkey's <laughs> about me, but I had a little moment with Kai. And then Molly was scared of me and then loved me and then was scared of me. It was all a bit weird. Um, but I was on Buddy's wavelength. Yeah, you, you bonded, didn't you? <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that night's life. It's just the worst. It really is. Mm. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Yeah, lots, lots of love and thoughts heading your way. Yeah. There are no words that can help. It's an awful thing to go through. And how was it? I think some, there's somebody else's words, but it meant a lot to me at the time that um, grief is the price we pay for love. Mm -hmm. And I think it was the Queen that said that, wasn't it? Was it? I think it was. It made a lot of sense to me at that time. Still mm -hmm. does. Oh, dear. Don't get me <laughs> emotional, people. We all loved Monty. Yeah, lots of love for Buddy coming in there. <laughs> so yeah i mean that's on the cards as well we were actually discussing it earlier if depending on how quick the move the potential move might happen we may wait and coincide getting a dog with that but i, I don't know i don't think that's gonna yeah. i don't think we'll worry too much about that but we wouldn't want to take on a dog just before we move if we've got that lined up you know what i mean yeah that carl lost his sheepdog badger last year he was 14, my best friend too. Yeah. Just saying a sentence like that <laughs> oh, chokes no. me up. I'm not going to read that out, Carl, because you'll I'll, I'll, you'll lose me. Yeah, that's a cool name for a dog. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh dear, you've got us onto dogs. <laughs> what have you done? Um. Okay. Well, I think we'll wrap it up there. Um. Again, if you are watching this after the fact and you have any more info on that, I think we bottomed out pretty much what it is. Um, I would be interested in your comments. Um, thank you so much for spending time with us. Um, we always enjoy this. We're sometimes exhausted and not sure if it's what we want to do. But whenever we come on, we get so much support from the chat uh, and, it, and it's great that you all tune in. We've still got 550 people watching, which blows my mind. Um, so thank you. We'll be back again next week. Can you move near to a premiere in? <laughs> Is that we need a sheet of stipulations? Sue says. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I had one today, didn't I? We need to have a side passage with a gate to, so we can have access to our garden because currently we have to walk all the way through the house to get to the garden. Yeah. Because there's no access to the garden. Stupid. Um, so that's one. The other one is premiere in. <laughs> <laughs> um top of the list are two or three really good boot sales within half an hour drive and a really good auction house within maybe an hour that would be nice um i'd like to be quite near a major city you know within an hour um i'd like to be within half an hour of the coast do you want my list <laughs> Karen would really like us to buy a place, buy a place, buy a dog from the place that she bought her Monty. <laughs> I have to say, I did show Nick the dog you you showed me the photo of the other day. It was gorgeous. When when we start seriously looking, we will consider all avenues. You you were looking at uh, Springer Rescue Centre, weren't you? I was looking at Spaniel Aid. Spaniel Aid. But I didn't know after you fell in love with Buddy whether. A terrier was more the thing that you would prefer I, I, um, I in terms know. of breed. I don't know that I'm breed picky. I do I do like little dogs. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. So I don't know if you'd feel the same way about a spaniel because they're kind of middle-sized dogs. <laughs> Gravely Boot Cell will close down if you guys move. I, I doubt that very much. <laughs> Come to Essex. We do like Essex. <laughs> we do actually, yeah. You know, yeah. It's it's uh, it's uh, pissability. Okay. Oh, that's a nice comment. We were going five minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Keith. That's lovely. Oh, that's a, that is a lovely comment. Yes. See, next door to a post office. Yeah. Right. Boots out in boot the field sales. behind. <laughs> right. Auction house next door. Right. <laughs> What's the one about? Nowhere near oh, a train oh, line. We live. And, we Andrew live. says nearby Weatherspoons as well, please. <laughs> Pub on the corner. Yeah. In a quaint little village, but quite near a big city. Yeah. 
Right? Or town. Uh, it doesn't the, have to be a city. Near the sea. Um, nowhere near a rail line. We live opposite a rail line. It's a pain in the neck because they're always doing work on it, aren't they? Oh, oh. it's driving you mad the other night, wasn't it? They start work at 3 a.m. when I'm just thinking about going to sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Jackapoos. I've never even seen a Jackapoo. <laughs> Jack, that, Jack Russell and a, and a poodle. And a poodle. That could be the way forward. Ah. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> I'm just going to say Ian because I get Ian's mixed up. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> Chihuahua, okay. no, too small. Chihuahuas are too small. Yeah. I, oh, flipping hell. I used to live in Farnham. That's I went to Wiscad, uh, which isn't called Wiscad anymore. West Surrey College of Art and Design in, in Farnham. I know Farnham very well. I know the pubs of Farnham very well. <laughs> um, yeah, had some good times in Farnham. Huge yeah. park. Yes, we used to spend lots of time in the park. I bet you did. <laughs> After ciders. <laughs> yeah. Right, uh, shall we wrap this one up? I think we probably should. Okay. It's time to go. Thank you. Uh, Schnauzers are lovely. Thank you for joining us. Um, we will see you next Sunday. Um, I know not much content came out this week. I, we just weren't really feeling it. We didn't film at the boot sale today. We just kind of had a week off YouTube, really. Uh, but stuff should be coming out next week. Yeah. 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 And we'll see you next Sunday. Indeed. Right. We need oh, apart from been... the quiz channel tomorrow, eight o'clock. Yeah, I was going to do a quiz, <laughs> an extra quizzy video this week didn't happen. What am I doing? Andrea is going to give you, as promised, new words of wisdom. Oh yes, stay safe and sanitize. That's not new. We yeah. promised these lovely people. Yeah, stay safe and sanitize, everybody. <laughs> Outrageous. Outrageous.